to the show now if you want to find your spirit animal. Stay where you are. Nancy Creedon is here to help you with your ideal pet, a furry friend to suit your lifestyle and personality to perfection. Nancy, great yep. to be back on the show. Thank you very much. I suppose uh, different animals are different types of people. That's we have what we're doing here today. here today. Besides a pony. No ponies. No ponies. <laughs> everything else here today. Perfect. So where are we going to start? We are starting with our little greyhound puppy. So often greyhounds are overlooked because I thought they're kind of ugly dogs, but they're beautiful. You'll see Scooby here. Mm -hmm. Scooby's a stunning little baby boy, and now that Kylie Jenner is after getting greyhounds, suddenly they're in fashion. So they're cool again now. They're super cool now, and they're brilliant pets. I have a greyhound at home myself, and what's so great about greyhounds is they need very little exercise. Yeah. So if you have a very busy lifestyle and you don't have hours and hours for hiking up mountains, a greyhound is the kind of pet that just needs a short walk, throw the ball for maybe 15, 20 minutes, and then up on the couch. And that's it. Take it that's nice it. and easy, because I suppose, I suppose people thought about greyhounds, okay, if they can't run fast, they're no good. That certainly is not the case. It's not the case, because I mean, throwing the ball is all they need. They're sprinters. They're not marathon runners. They're sprinters. Yeah. And what they love is comfort. So yeah. if you're letting your animals up on the couch, the greyhound is the one for you. They need something nice and soft, because they're a little bit bony, um, but they're brilliant family pets, and they are beautiful. They are certainly <laughs> most beautiful. Now, we're going to go over here. This, 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 the fish here, they don't take much mining really, do they? common goldfish, yeah. overlooked again all the time because it's thought that they're a little bit boring, you can't do much with fish. You can train fish tricks. So you can train your goldfish to jump out of the water, you can train them to go through hoops, How can you scoring change? little goals, putting a little football net in there and they can get the ball and score it into the goal. If you go onto YouTube, there's loads of really easy videos to follow and you can buy little agility kits for your goldfish. I'm going on YouTube later on. You can do it, we'll give you a task. <laughs> they're great fun and yeah. they're low maintenance as well. So if you have young children, children at home that want a pet, want a little bit of responsibility. Goldfish are brilliant because they can get involved with the cleaning, mm -hmm. the feeding, but the fish are safe. There's no They're tails safe. to be pulled and things like that. Is it okay to have them in a bowl this small though, Nancy? The bigger the better and the more interactive the better. So the more kind of hidey places they have, yeah. the more little tunnels, the more football goals they have, yeah. the better. Give them something to do. Okay. And keep them in sets. So you don't want them on their own. There needs to be at least two or three in there two. for company. How long do they live? They live a good few years, I think, do they? Two to three years. Okay. But you do hear cases of them living much longer than that. Mm -hmm. um, and again, kids need to learn about... Yes, the, yes, yes. It's, it's, it's all life. part of life. So, yeah, they can be great family pets if you've got young children. Okay, I'm going to check out that YouTube thing in a while now. Do. <laughs> no, we've, we've cats here. We've got our little loads kittens. Of kittens yes. We do. And I mean, there's so many kittens looking for homes up and down mm. the country. And they're great, very cute mm. little pets. Aww. So here we have Morris, who doesn't want Morris. to come out. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? I'm going to swap Leave Morris me. back in. Okay. Um, because with your kittens, you need to make sure that they enjoy being handled. Yes. So if they ever get a little bit spooked, just give them a break. Okay. And swap them out for another little baby. Yeah, but so after a while, then they get used to Nancy. They do. Yeah. As long as you don't overwhelm them. So if they get a little fright, mm -hmm. give them space. And that's where young children aren't great with kittens because often they'll grab them and they'll pull them and they don't really yeah. give them their space. Okay. So with lots of gentle affection, they can become so social and yeah. so great pets, great interactive yeah. pets. But you, great... but you can leave the cats outside as well, leave them come in and out as well, so you don't have to be at home all day with no, them. No, and that's where, again, um, even if you've got reduced mobility, things like that, that you can't get out yeah. for walks, having the cats means that they can have a great, happy, healthy mm -hmm. life without needing to get out and yes. not needing too much attention. They do need a lot of affection. They okay. do need a lot of basic training and they can be toilet trained and so on, but they're relatively easy pets to have. Yeah, and there won't be a mouse or a rat around the place either there won't outside. Be. No, is, they'll keep is, your area nice and safe. No, over here, we have Bunny over here as well. We've got our Bunny. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see if our Bunny wants to come out to play. So, this is Snowy and Snowy's eight and a half and he's very well used to being handled. Mm -hmm. So... Hopefully he'll play with us. Yeah. Um, so bunnies, what's great about bunnies is if you're living in an apartment, you obviously can't have a cat, they yeah. can't get out. Mm -hmm. With the dogs, it's not great for a dog. So bunnies are brilliant for apartment living. They can be toilet trained, which is handy. Yeah. And again, super social and super affectionate. Okay. If you handle them gently. How long would it take to toilet train a bunny? Um, you're looking at about six weeks, but generally the earlier you start, the better. And depending where you're getting one from. Mm -hmm. So you want to get a bunny ideally from a household where they're already being handled yeah. and, and trained to what, begin what with. What about living young children? children on bunny okay no not young children again so any child younger than five i'm saying you're looking at goldfish goldfish because yeah. children aren't easy to train animals no, can well, be well, trained when you have untrained tra trained children, children and untrained animals and tails well. when you've got tails and ears to pull generally yeah. you wait until the kids are over older okay. than five okay that yeah that, that, that's a good result Bun bunnies are so cute really but they it, are and they're affectionate you can play with them you can yeah. teach them tricks as well so <laughs>
No, it's not. Check, check it out. It's six years. Yeah. So we, we have another uh, dog here, a smaller one this time. Yeah, so this is Freelon. Freelon's a Staffy. So he's a Staffy Terrier who, again, often get overlooked, but they are amazing family mm -hmm. pets. Reason being, they're tough. They're tough, tough. as old boots. Yeah. And if you've got kids that are running around playing football, wrestling with the puppy, mm -hmm. Staffies love that. Yeah. They're great fun and they need a lot of exercise. They need a lot of exercise. Yeah. So if you're going away, if you're a person who has one of these dogs and you're away, like, it doesn't really suit. No, definitely not. You're looking at something lower maintenance. Yeah. But if you are someone who wants a dog, if you're looking for a low energy dog, you're looking at your greyhound, mm -hmm. high energy, energy dog, you're looking at your Staffies. But they're just fun. They're great fun. They're great for kids. Yeah. They're actually very good for people with allergies as well because they've got less dander than most pets okay. so this guy would be terrible for no, allergies yes, yeah. and you, asthma you, you can even see it yeah, yeah exactly yeah. but your staffies are great because of that because of the less dander often yeah. if you are allergic to dogs you may actually be fine with a staffy so if you want to tire the staffy out and the children out, out into the garden and where for they go hours for hours and hours and hours and hours, <laughs> and hours and hours but everyone will be tired at the end of the day no Nancy we were looking at I suppose different animals here and how they would suit different people there are animals that shouldn't go anywhere near people in houses yes. and they shouldn't become pets yes. and this is a worrying trend where people are looking at weird exotic animals for pets so we've got things like owls i know of a lady who was looking for an owl for her eight-year-old son on the back of harry potter that was and the only reason yeah on the back for christmas a christmas present of an owl and she couldn't track one day and so she yeah. got on to me and I talked to her out of it but, very quickly. But, so, but can, can you get an owl if you really wanted one as a pet? You probably could, but yeah. don't go looking for them. But you can't like, go looking for them. How, you, you'd have to trade. There's, there's these exotic trades and yeah. underground trades and so on. So yeah. you can get everything. You yeah. can get, you know, all exotics. You can get monkeys for yeah. pets like, nowadays. Well, that, I got, we were talking about Kylie Jenner earlier on with greyhounds. But Ross from Friends had a monkey yeah. years ago. And I remember all of a sudden everybody wanted yeah. a monkey. And they have them in pet shops inside in Cork as well. But no, if they're an animal that's not domesticated, an animal that hasn't been bred to be a pet, Stay well away. It's not cool, it's not clever, and it's not fair. Did I hear somebody looking for a, rac a raccoon? Yeah, again, not a domesticated animal. Are, are not suitable for a pet. Uh, I wouldn't have one of my no. hands. I wouldn't have or one of my Or even in the front or back yard, <laughs> Nancy. No, and it just wouldn't be fair, you know. So we're looking at our normal pets that have been bred to be pets, yes. that are used to it, that are domesticated, and that enjoy being handled. No, Nancy, uh, I'm on the road a lot. What, what, which one will suit me? You can have the fish die. Fish. You can take those fish home, just don't kill them. You know, don't you, you let know them fish. die. If I'm taking those fish home, I'm going on to YouTube uh, I'll get on scoring to you. goals and We'll come back next year and see how the fish are doing. <laughs> Thank you very much, Nancy. Thanks, William. Over to you, Maura. Fish are not exciting enough for the way, I think. But Nancy always says, as she was talking there about exotic animals that shouldn't be kept as pets, go for the regular ones. But you know what? Don't buy one. As Nancy always says, adopt, don't shop.